What's happening, financial coaches? It's Pete here. Hey, want to tell you about something. Actually, this should have been a long history, but um, I was, last year I got to present at a number of conferences. It was great. I had a thing about kind of making income on the side as a side hustle, you know, in addition to your day job. It was a presentation that seemed to resonate with a lot of people, especially last year as, you know, kind of the gig economy was flourishing and those types of things. They actually think it's probably a topic that's even more relevant right now as people are kind of struggling with, with um, you know, job security and, you know, cash flow and those types of things. But interestingly enough, I had to actually come up with a different presentation, which is one that I haven't given anywhere yet because kind of when the conference season starts, everything kind of got shut down. And so uh, it's funny because I would have announced this early this year. Uh, I was going to be speaking at the annual conference on financial education, I believe. And that was originally scheduled for March, 2020. And I was going to do a presentation that was called how to pay off credit card quicker. And it was kind of just a, a it's a, it's a presentation about how people with credit card debt, you know, the most common kind of consumer debt in America with the average household having seven, $8,000 on credit card debt. And the fact that we have, you know, as professionals and practitioners, kind of some methods to help people tackle credit card debt. But my problem with it is that, you know, through all of those things, it's really to kind of stay organized, stay motivated. They're really behavioral processes, they're behavioral tricks. They don't necessarily pay credit cards down quicker, right? That we don't necessarily shorten the time or decrease the amount of interest we're going to pay. And so I kind of researched and cobbled together a strategy that actually does pay it down quicker without actually having to put more cash towards the credit card. And it really has to do about with how we um, how we optimize around when interest is calculated and how much is calculated, right? And so if we understand the rules around how interest is charged on credit card debt, then we can use those rules to our advantage and help people, maybe it's even you um, or your clients, help them pay down the credit card debt quicker by just understanding the inside workings of the credit card so that we can take advantage of it. And so that was my presentation and how we can lop off a bunch of time paying off the credit card, not paying more theoretically to the credit card, but just being smarter about how we pay. So I'm really excited about this presentation. It's the first time I've given it. Um, I'm also looking forward to giving it at uh, some other places. I was also thinking of recording it and putting it up there. It's, you know, it's about a 45 minute presentation because I think it takes a little bit of detailed understanding of the process and the inner workings of everything to kind of get your head around it so that you can understand it. I mean, I'm really just trying to teach the concept, not the necessarily the nuance of it, but if you can kind of understand it, then you can, then you can convey that to people. You can help walk them through it because it's not necessarily the easiest thing to understand. It's not hard, but it just, it's a little bit of a uh, reversal of the way I think we think about credit card debt in a lot of ways. So, um, because this is not out there anywhere and because this is the first time I'm presenting this publicly, uh, you can actually register for the annual conference on financial education. Um, I will put a link to it in the description below because I can't remember what the URL is off the top of my head, but that is coming up here in mid October. So I will be giving that presentation then. And so if you would like to see it, uh, you certainly can register for the conference and, and come and be a part of that uh, discussion. I think that will be, it's like a Tuesday morning. And so, um, I would love to to have you there. And if you can't make it, um, I think the conference is a few hundred bucks to attend it virtually because that's the big, that's the big difference. It was an in-person conference in March. And then because of kind of the shutdown, it's going to be a virtual conference. So everything will be online. But uh, I think it's it's worthwhile. There are a lot of speakers. There's going to be some recorded sessions. You know, um, I've gone to it for the last four years, three or four years, and I've always gotten a uh, good value out of it. But um, I'm just plugging for myself a little bit that, you know, I will be one of the presenters again this year. So would love to have you there. And again, like I said, if you're just trying to immerse yourself in some of the other ideas, whether it's financial well-being or, you know, um, credit card skills or budgeting skills and some of those things, lots of presenters on that. So uh, just another option for you as you are looking at those. And despite the fact that I'm speaking, there are a lot of other good speakers. There are other good speakers, not just uh, novice hacks like me as well. So that's it. I'll see you later.